Hello and welcome to FSM News. I'm Amane Winston. And I'm Jamie Stubbs. FSM News is a product of Free Spirit Media, which is a nonprofit organization that empowers youth voice. The summer crew at Yellow Cali Arts Reach Program is adding new murals to Pilsen. This should be exciting because they already have beautiful artwork in the neighborhood. This urban artwork brings life to the community. Here's Diamond Expensive with the story. At Yellow Collie Teens are creating three new murals and a mosaic in Pilsen. If you don't know about mosaics, it's when you take a bunch of different fragments of, of you can use anything and put them together so that they create an image. There is more to these murals than what meets the eyes. The latest creation has a special meaning and purpose. They describe who you are in the community and struggles you go through. Like if you look at them, like you could read a mural and it talks to you in various ways. It's just not one thing you could like interpret it your own way. So I think they talk to everyone. This is just one of the many murals that teens use to represent their community. And to create artwork that describes them and the community and the struggles that they go through. It also helps the artists build long-lasting bonds. It would be the one that I worked on right here, Declaration of Immigration, on the side of the building, because that was my first um, experience at Yolo Cali. And just the team that we worked on was so like special, and we all just clicked, and it was, it, it was what made me love Yolo Cali. With more mirrors to come, the Pilsen community will be an even greater sight to see. Reporting from FSM News, I'm Dominique Spencer. Yellow Kelly is really on the ball. They earned an After School Medal Award in 2010. They also earned a special recognition from the White House. Up next in our Did You Know segment, we'll hear what they deserve to get it. Stay tuned. Welcome back to FSM News. Thanks for staying with us. Yolo Kelly has been helping youth since 1997. In those 15 years, they've made a lot of achievements. Here's Quentin Moss with the facts. Did you know that Yolo Kelly serves over 3,000 youth since it began in 1997? Since its inception, students have created more than 30 public murals. Did you know that Michelle Obama awarded Yolo Kelly with the Arts and Humanities Youth Program Awards in 2011? This award officially named as a nationally award-winning program. Yolo Kelly is really on the road with their fun, modest skate shop. Yolo Kelly teens learn to create showstopper designs and become skateboard artists. Check out the story with FSM's Dakota Brown. The modest skateboard shop in Forest Park is more than just a store. They collaborate with Yolo Kelly Arts Reach to host special activities for teens. I've actually been running the Art of Skateboarding program for going on six years now. started as kind of a half woodshop class, half art class, um, kind of giving kids the opportunity to learn about skateboarding as a sport, an art, and most importantly, a business. It's crazy. I mean, I get to sit in a skate shop all day, looking at skateboarding stuff, watching skate videos, and designing a skateboard. It's pretty cool. The Art of Skateboarding program has a major goal in mind for students. Teens can kind of learn what it's like to be a commissioned artist, hired to provide original graphics on skate decks to be displayed in the community and then skate shops like this. Here at the Midas Skate Shop, teens learn to create professional skateboards. It's the first step to helping them achieve their dreams. I've been skating for a good two years now. I've gotten pretty good and then I've always wanted to be sponsored and then this opportunity just came up and I was thinking, well, when I get pro, I can work on designing my own boards. Becoming a better skateboard artist drives the teens to stay focused in the program. Before, I didn't really do art at all. I mean, I drew a little bit. I got new techniques on how to, like, paint better because I've never done that before. We actually sketch a lot. Like, I probably have, like, six or seven sketches already in my book. We just make our um, art, like, more professional. Reporting for FSM News, I'm Dakota Brown. Yellow Cali is really the place to be. That's right, the program has everything from art to a poetry class. That's cool. Up next, we'll give you a scoop on that plan to wrap up the summer. Stay tuned. Are you looking for something creative to do? Well, come participate in Yellow Kelly's Open Studio, where you can create murals, 
or build sculptures, and even learn to draw. If you are interested in joining Open Studio, it takes place Tuesdays and Thursdays from 3 to 5 p.m. at your locality. Get involved. Before the summer ends, Yellow Collie plans to celebrate all of their creative programs. Staff and participants are currently working hard at Summer Showcase. Janae Stubb has more. Yellow Cali has many programs for the youth to partake in, so it's no surprise instructors and participants are working hard to show all of their stuff for the closing event. Our students work in the classes to create a final event. It's a final showcase, it's what they work towards all semester, so all of our different classes will be showing their final artwork. Showing their final projects means a lot to the teens. I guess it shows people that's interested in my work. It's definitely a great opportunity. You get to like get to see how people react to it. That's I think that's what I do art for. Everyone has a special responsibility to help pull the event together in time. I'm in charge of the merchandise here at Yalakali, which we actually like we print on like sketchbooks, which you can see right here. We also print a lot of shirts with the cool designs. There are lots of programs to showcase during the big event. This includes theater, a poetry class, and a tribute to Maggie Daly. We're doing an exhibition about Maggie Daly to honor like what she did to the youth and all that, and the community. This tribute is not all fun and games, but it's a challenging process. We pretty much just like paint the background white, and then we like project the image, and we trace it, and then we start painting. Although much perseverance and dedication is needed to make everything come together, the staff is confident that it will all pay off at the Yolo Cali Summer Showcase, which takes place August 17th from 5 to 7 p.m. Well, that's our time for this week's newscast. We'll be back next week with more news on the road. Until then, check us out on Facebook. Search FSM News. You can also find us on ABC7 Chicago's website in the community section. Have a good weekend. Three, two, one, that's a wrap. Mirror, mirror, mirrors. There are lots of programs to showcase in the big event. This includes a po. Nope, that, that wasn't it. Here at the Midas Skate Shop. That's right. Three. Kelly Teens learn to show-stopping design. These mirrors then what meets the eye. The latest creation. Do it again. To the. It's this thing. That's all right. That's all right. <laughs> what up? Right there. Time with this mix. Wait, I do it again. <laughs> there is more to these mirrors that. More to these mirrors. Oh. <laughs>